Radical Acceptance with Spirituality. Let's first notice grounding our feet and our bodies. And noticing the breath. Observe that you are questioning or fighting reality. A part might be saying, it shouldn't be this way. I can't manage this. I can't have it go this way. Remind the part that the unpleasant reality is just as it is and cannot be changed. Tell the part, this is what happened. This is life. And notice the breath as we say this. And notice the sensations and thoughts and counter arguments. Remind the part that there are causes for the reality. There's some kind of history that led us to this very moment. People's lives have been shaped by a series of factors. Notice that giving these causal factors and how the history led us up to this moment, this reality had to occur this way. Tell the part this is how things happened. and breathe and notice. This is how things happened. Practice accepting with the whole self, mind, body, spirit. Be creative and find ways to involve your whole self. Starting with the breath. Noticing any thoughts. Parts that are fighting, fighting, arguing, and saying that it can't be this way. It shouldn't be this way. Notice sensations that are tightening, perhaps clenching in the chest or the gut, or tightening in the shoulders. And let's breathe as we notice the sensations from the head, the neck, the back chest, the gut, the torso, the seat, the upper legs, knees, lower legs, feet. Let's notice the sensations and the parts that are activated and fighting against this reality that is so painful and the parts that are suffering and don't want to accept and see that they can't and won't. And let's find a 
caring and compassionate gesture. Maybe one hand holding the other hand. Or a hand on the chest. Or any other comforting gesture. Maybe try half smiling. And noticing if this calms the system down. What is it that feels unacceptable? Let's find a safe space to talk to the creator about this. Maybe it's an inside space or maybe it's an outside space. Maybe there's water and you can, you can breathe in and out with the waves. And let's engage gratitude for everything that is provided. and noticing the sensations and the feelings of grieving and suffering and the feelings of, I can't do this and hold this paradox and stay with it and breathe with it. And notice that the Creator is here with you and you are not alone. And you are part of a community of humans and creations who also experience pain. And all of creation is held by the Creator. And let's stay with the breath in and out. And offer compassion. Meaning kindness and acceptance of yourself and your humanity, regardless of flaws, regardless of mistakes. And perhaps tell the parts we are enough. We are loved. We are accepted. We are human. And it's not always easy being human. And notice the sensations. And continue to provide caring and compassionate touch.
Let's reflect on what you would do if you did accept this reality. What steps might you take if you accepted and did not fight? And let's rehearse the behaviors that you would do if you really had accepted. Perhaps you would get up and do something active like take a little walk. Do a household chore. Make a phone call to a friend. And let's come back to the part, the part that is suffering and in pain. And let's hold that part and breathe and tell her or him or them that you are not alone. Many people suffer. It's part of humanity. It's part of life. And even if you don't see any purpose or meaning behind this right now, there is a plan for this. And there is a transcending and a meaning behind it. and recognize that you are connected to other humans and creations that suffer. And the Creator is creating the world in every moment continuously, just as it is meant to be. With providence every moment on the creations. Notice the breath. Notice the sensations. Notice the parts. Notice if they're more activated or more relaxed. Tell the parts that they are not alone and all the parts are welcome. And there is a wise self and a wise creator who is there with them. When you're ready, let's go back to noticing your feet or your body grounded. Notice any feelings and sensations and thoughts that arise as we exit this practice. And let's have gratitude to ourselves and to humanity and to the Creator for everything and anything that we experience today.